in the coronavirus emergency, unemployment compensation benefits have been increased. This was part of the CARES Act, that coronavirus legislation meant to help stabilize the economy and workers. Now, the language of the unemployment compensation is being called federal pandemic unemployment compensation in that legislation. In the state of Wisconsin, where we are, this means eligibility for benefits is expanded to include many people, including self-employed people. And the increase is to the tune of about $600 available per week through July 31st, 2020. Now, if you exhaust your benefits, you may be eligible for an additional 13 weeks of unemployment compensation. This is a change that would be applied to people that already are getting unemployment compensation and new applicants. The state of Wisconsin, we are being told by the Department of Workforce Development, is still waiting for more instructions from the Department of Labor. But in the meantime, individuals are wondering how this additional income will impact their eligibility for health care coverage in the state of Wisconsin. So while the Department of Workforce Development awaits instructions and they hope to launch this expanded benefit by the middle of April, people already are starting to wonder about programs like BadgerCare Plus and Medicaid. So for BadgerCare Plus purposes, we know that the current unemployment compensation, normal, traditional unemployment compensation, does count as income when you're trying to determine if you're eligible for the program. In BadgerCare Plus, it's considered other income. It's taxable other income that you would report on your application. In the Medicaid program, it's considered unearned income, also counted towards your eligibility, that final income calculation you're going to include for benefits. But the CARES Act includes specific language that says the $600 a week enhancement, that is not included in the income calculation for your public benefits like BadgerCare Plus and Medicaid. The section 2104H says disregard of additional compensation for purposes of Medicaid and CHIP, that children's health insurance program. And the quote that comes out of that legislation says the monthly equivalent of any federal pandemic unemployment compensation paid to an individual under this section shall be disregarded when determining income. So like we said in the state of Wisconsin, that disregard extends to BadgerCare Plus and Medicaid programs. It does not appear to extend to the Affordable Care Act marketplace, however. That follows different income counting rules. They're largely the same, but in that MAGI, that Modified Adjusted Gross Income Calculation, unemployment compensation is included, and there is no language that we can see in the CARES Act that would disregard the additional unemployment compensation that comes from the CARES Act. So, when figuring out your eligibility for a marketplace plan, should you be eligible for a special enrollment period, you would include that additional $600 per week in your income calculation. If you have a marketplace plan now and you are adjusting your income, you would also make sure that you are accurately reflecting what the total unemployment compensation you are receiving when you make that calculation. And this could impact tax subsidies, It could impact your cost sharing reductions, those affordability measures in the marketplace. So make sure your income is accurate. The advice to all people is to report changes. If you have an additional unemployment compensation coming in, make sure you report that to the agency which is administering your health care coverage, whether that be BadgerCare Plus or Medicaid or the marketplace. Reporting the change is always a good idea. For the marketplace, it may mean a change in what your tax subsidies looks like. For BadgerCare Plus, they might, you might want to make sure it that it enhancement is being disregarded like the legislation suggests. In the resources below, in the description, we do share the language of the CARES Act. We share some um, frequently asked questions from the Department of Workforce Development talking more about that unemployment compensation enhancement. And we give you the sources for the Badger Care Plus Eligibility Handbook and Medicaid Eligibility Handbook with that other income and that unearned income language. 